Good morning. It's 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's Saturday, and you know what that means. It's time for some Saturday morning cereals with your host, Paul the Captain. No, I don't like it. It's your, it's your host, Captain Cartoon, Paul. All right, guys. I mixed it up last week. I tried to add Voltron. And, uh, yeah, it did not happen. So, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to add a couple cartoons here at the end. And uh, hopefully I can get those past YouTube. Uh, one did. I mean, we got Mask. Uh, I've had people ask for Mask for a while. This one I did not know if I could air. And we did. So, um, yeah, I can't believe we got it past. So, there you go, man. Enjoy. It's Mask. Um, I can't remember who it was. Somebody asked me the other day. Um, I always ask on my on my interview show. You know, money's no issue. Uh, what would you air? You know, because I I talk to a lot of horror hosts, and you know they're, you know, and I guess I fall into that host category, which they all claim I do. Um, somebody asked me what if money was no issue. What would my my Saturday morning lineup be? And uh, whew, that is a hard question um, because I, I could probably tell you what my, my dream, like, you know, because I, I do mix this up. I, I use some cartoons that came out during the weeks and uh, Saturday cartoons and weekday cartoons and Sunday cartoons and uh, evening cartoons and stuff like that. Yeah, I get that. Um, if I put together one... It would definitely have Thunder the Barbarian in it and some Scooby-Doo. Uh, you know, G.I. Joe Transformers, uh, the, the, the old school Gen 1 stuff. Um, but man, I, I tell you what, I think I, I, I'm going to give you what my rundown for uh, uh, weekday cartoon. Uh, get home from school. Boom. It's 3 o'clock, man. 3 o'clock. He-Man. Black Star. So that's three to three thirty. Four to four thirty. That is G.I. Joe Transformers. So I mean that's boom. I love that block. Uh, you know, then when then when uh Black Star ends, because Black Star was a weekday was a weekend cartoon. Uh band Quicks uh Quicksilver and the Silverhawks, boom, put them right in there. Because uh, I like filmation, so I wanted. I think the the, the He Man Black Star because they used a lot of the same animation go together. All right, so I get that out of the way, and then I have to think about more on the Saturday morning stuff. So here we go, you guys. Um, as always, Saturday morning cereals is brought to you by RU Game, the best comic book collectible uh, DVD role playing magic. Toy, comic book. Uh, let's see what else do I sell. Uh, mm, I sell a lot of stuff, board games, anything. Um, shop located at 124 North Sunset Drive, Pip, Ohio, 45356. Uh, you can find us on Facebook under R, the word R, A R E, the letter U, U, the word game, G A M E. Find me on Facebook. All right. You know, I know I did Great Space Coaster. Um, people, yeah, it's not a cartoon, and it's more of a kid's cartoon, more of a kid's show. I get it. Uh, I throw, I figure, I throw a couple in there for nostalgia reasons. Um, I didn't plan on doing it this week, but uh, I found the one with Mark Hamill. I found the one with Luke Skywalker in it, so I figure I'll do one more episode of Great Space Coaster. So. This is it, man. This is an episode of Great Space Coaster with special guest Mark Hamill. And this is uh, like 81. So this is uh, Empire Strikes Back era Mark Hamill. So I hope you guys enjoy. And uh, remember, was it? There's no good, is, uh, no good news. 
is good news. <sighs> Love that as a kid. So here you go, Gray Space Coaster, the Mark Hamill episode. Enjoy. Ah, oh, my sister. That's it, my sis. Yeah, I'll blame it on my sis. I'll say that Nancy's soda pop was hard to hold. She let it drop and use my paper as a mop. That ought to get me out of this. Yeah, I'll blame it on my sis. Maybe, maybe, maybe my ma. <laughs> That's it, my ma. I'll blame it on my ma. I'll say she washed my pair of jeans. My book report was in those jeans, and it got washed to smithereens. A bigger mess you never saw. Yeah, I'll blame it on my ma. That's what I'll tell my teacher. But can I look her in the eye? Oh, oh why didn't I do my homework? What's that you trying to say? Did this do tomorrow, not today? Whew, that was close. Tonight I'll get it done for sure. Griddle! Griddle! I have had it with you and that, that machine! That mechanical smoke monster is ruining my garden. My carnations are brown. And your roses are green. You're filled with envy over my mean, bad machine. <laughs> Why don't you stop waxing poetic and try to fix that thing? Hmm. Gee, it's a cold, lonely life being a hot rider. Oh, just wait until I find that ape. I am going to give him a piece of my mind. Good idea. Uh, good piece. Ah, <laughs> I thought it was all low-grade material. <laughs> Nothing is as low-grade as you, you silly polluting monkey. Well, Ever since you bought that awful contraption, my eyes have been stinging me like crazy. Well, gee, knack knack. Why don't you adjust your contacts? <laughs> oh, Willow! Knock knock! doesn't wear contacts. Yeah, sure. Of course I don't. Right. It's the smoke from that infernal machine, that's uh, all. Uh, right. And not only is it hurting her eyes, but it's making me ganoshous. That ganoxic smell put forth from that ganag of a vehicle is incredible. Ganasty gorilla. You can say that again. But no, I can't. I'm too ganoshious. Hey, Gary! How's it going? How's it going, friend? Feels like any second now. And a... Oh, oh and a special good morning to you, Nakna. Oh, yeah? What's so good about it? <laughs> <coughs> hey, guys, don't you say how about a me? <laughs> Can you hear something? No, nope, not me. Me either. Well, I thought I heard something. With all this smoke, I can't see if anyone's there. <laughs> Speaking of smoke, this motorcycle of griddles is getting out of hand. I'll say. You know what gets me? Is that griddle sees how much the smoke fumes is bothering everybody, mm -hmm. and he refuses to do anything about it. Boy, you know, I never would have figured griddle to be that kind of guy. What kind of guy? Oh, you know the way some selfish people are. They don't care about anything. Listen, I'll tell you all about it. Some people don't seem to care seem to care the way they pile up the air it doesn't seem quite fair but some people don't seem to care some people don't stop and think stop and think about the water we drink all our resources are shrinking but people can be so thinking how can people be so blind blind to what they're doing to what nature designed So 
a bunch of spoiled sports. <laughs> I finally get something I like to ride on, and everybody jumps all over me. So the bike gives off a teensy weensy bit of smoke. <laughs> Is a little discomfort such so much to, to put up with for a friend? If you were really such a good friend, you'd have that bike fixed. Well, I only got one thing left to say. <laughs> He could see. Come on, guys, let's check it out. Now, Garrido, you take real good care of yourself now, okay? Yeah, and stay in bed like the doctor said. And no more cycle riding. Okay, bye now. Take care, bro. Good. See your friend, Roy and Danny. Boy, Garrido, you really gave us quite a scare, you know. I'm really glad you're all right, though. Yeah. The doc says I'm lucky. Yeah. But my motorbike may not last the night. Ah, uh, well, you know, actually, I took a look at it, and with a little fixing up, it's gonna be all right. You, you, you mean it? Yep, yep. Um, you're gonna need a new tailpipe, though. Uh, but that'll take care of the smoke and all the toxic fumes that your bike was giving off. Oh, a new exhaust pipe. Mm -hmm. But but that's gonna cost big bucks. Garretto. Oh, okay, okay. Well, yeah. would you order one for me, Bex? Sure, I'll even help you install it. Thanks, Bex. Oh, anything for you, pal. You know, for a guy who's a clown, you're all right. <laughs> Thanks. I you just get well. Buddy. Oh, I had this. How are ya? Oh. Look, I brought you some flowers to make oh. you feel better. Oh. Gee, thanks, Edison. That's nice of you. Hey, that's great. Your garden must be in great shape, huh? My garden? Gorilla, uh -huh. I had to buy these flowers at a florist. My oh. garden is a wreck. After what your motorcycle did, it's going to take weeks for it to recover. Mm. Whoops. Well, Gorilla has promised to have a new exhaust pipe installed, so your garden will be safe. Yeah, and I'll help you get it all back in order, Edison. Mm -hmm. oh, Promise. That's sweet of you, Gorilla. But the important thing is that you get well now. Right. Hey, Gorilla, is there anything we can get for you? Oh. Thanks, Bank. Well, now that you mention it, a, a banana shake would, would sure hit the spot. Oh, you know, and, and I'd also that. like some, some banana cake and some banana chips and another pillow or, or a, a television guide or something like that. I better get a paper and pencil and write this down. Yeah. Yeah. And, and maybe maybe uh, two bananas or something like that would hit the spot, too. Two bananas? You know? Yeah, two extra bananas. With the shake? Yeah. All right. Yeah. And, the, and the chips. Yeah. Okay. You rest. Okay. Hurry up. Oh, Roy. Yes? What's on the movie menu today? How do you feel about spiders? Well, let's put it this way. If I'd been Little Miss Muffet, I would have put down those curds and ways and eaten the spider instead. Oh, you probably would have frightened the spider away. Just show the movie, Roy. Just watch this. Can you do that? Woodpeckers don't knit, knit wit. Tara. 
for that. Well, clear the cobwebs out of your head, Knock Knock. The spider will return in a little while. Oh, good, good, good. Knock Knock. Who's there? Nobody. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the time. Wow. You know, it's time for my 10 o'clock banana break. Yeah. Got the banana up here. Wow. How about this little cutie? Isn't that nice? Yeah. yeah. Nothing like a little mid-morning fruit break, you know? Yeah. Well, you know, I always say, a banana a day keeps the... Uh, uh, yeah. Keep, keeps the... Well, it does the job, yeah. Boy, this looks like it's gonna be a great one. Yeah, I just know it. Get that. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh! Oh! Snakes! <laughs> oh, I got you, Gorilla. Oh, that was a good one. Oh. Not that, you turkey. Oh, that you did really that. Great. You think that was funny? <laughs> you scaring people like that? Wait till I get a hold of you. You'll be sorry in the next 10 trillion years. Gorilla, 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 what is all the racket? What's mm. happening? That old buzzer just pulled a practical joke on me, Edison. She did? What did she do? Well, she slipped me a loaded banana. Mm. Oh, <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> Boy, she's really gonna be sorry she started messing with me. Oh, come on, Gorilla, what are you gonna do? Oh, I'll fix her. I'll, I'll fill her bird bath with crazy glue. I'll grease her perch. I'll, I'll put, I'll put peppercorns in her bird seeds. Oh, ow, ow. Come on, Riddle, if you'll start getting her, and then she'll get you. Yeah. Then you'll get back at her, and then she'll get back at you. And, you know, pretty soon you're going to start a great big feud like, like the Hatfields and the McCoys. <laughs> Who are they? Well... That was two families that used to live in the Ozark Mountains, and they started a feud that lasted a hundred years. Well, that won't happen to me and Knock Knock, I can tell you oh, that. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm not giving up that easily. I'll get that needle-nosed vulture if it's the last thing I do. Well, I tell you, some people, that buzzard, that turkey, that hawk, I tell you something. <laughs> It's tumpy time, tumpy time. Oh, I love a beautiful bath. I have put in the bath oil, I have put in the bubble bath, and I am ready to scrub my gorgeous bod. But first, I think I had better test the temperature. <laughs> ah! 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 Oh, what was that? Piranhas! Alligators! I'm being eaten alive! Ah! 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 Knock, knock. You were so funny when the lizard oh, bit you. 
Lizards! Lizards! That's what it was! Wait a minute. How did you know that there were lizards in my bath, M.T.? Oh, elementary dear knock-knock. I saw Griddle put them oh. in. In fact, I was the one who told him where to find the lizard. Well, why didn't you tell me, you rotten person? What? What kind of bad guy would I be if I ruined a practical joke? Because I love a practical joke. Oh, a practical joke. Like turning on the water hose and watching you soak. Like lacing shoes together while you're taking a nap. Like squirting shaving cream inside the top of your cap. I love a practical joke. I'm the kind of a guy. Try looking through my telescope. It gives a black eye. My triple glass is always good for hardy ha ha's. I'm sure to get a bang from my exploding cigar. I'm a jokester. A trickster, a wit. Invite me to your party and the party will be a hit. I love a practical joke, all oh, practical jokes. From a dime a dozen prank to an elaborate hoax. I love every kind of joke from A right through to Z. The only kind of joke I hate, the only kind of joke I hate, the only kind of joke I hate is the joke that's played on me. Don't dare play a practical joke on M.T. <laughs> Have a nice day. Oh, good night, Griddle. Good night, Edison. I guess it's time to turn in. Oh, well. Witnessed. <laughs> Wait a minute. Edison! <gasps> what happened? What's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, you know what's wrong. How many times have I told you not to put your peanut shells in my bed? Little, I didn't put those peanut shells in your bed. Oh, yeah, well, what do you call these? Little, I, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's wonderful. You were so funny. Oh, I got you, monkey. I got you good that time. Oh, oh knock, knock. You're gonna I'm sleep gonna in get peanut you for shells this. for a week. You crazy bird. Oh, you... Okay. <laughs> yes, indeed. I can't wait till Knock Knock comes home and sees this. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna flip her feathers. Listen, this will get her out of my hair once and for all. Hey, Garrido. Huh? Have you seen Knock Knock? No, but I hope she shows up soon. Hey, what? what's all this? Well, you might say it's a little repayment for about 15 pounds of peanut shells. Mm. Have you two seen Knock Knock anywhere? No. No. Uh, we can't find her. Yeah, why is her house boarded up? <laughs> the riddle did it. Yeah. Oh, well, is this part of the practical joke war you two have been having? Oh. Edison's been telling us all about it. Oh, well, yeah. Well, you know, practical jokes can get out of hand. Hey, are you sure Knock Knock isn't in there? Don't you think we would have heard her yelling if she was? Hey. What? I just remembered. What? Knock Knock has claustrophobia. She may have fainted. And people with claustrophobia can't be closed yeah. in anywhere. Yeah, get, get her out of here. Get, come on. Come on. Where? Get her out of here. Knock Knock. she in there? Knock. Oh, my. Oh. Oh, Knock. Oh, oh, well, now, now you see what happens when practical jokes get out of hand. I hope you're satisfied. How's she doing? Mm -hmm. She How's seems to be coming room? around. Knock, knock, what happened? Uh -huh. Oh, oh my oh. goodness. All, all I remember is I lay down to take a nap, and when I woke up, it was all dark and closed oh, in. Yeah. I must have fainted. No. Nope. What happened? Well... Gorilla was playing one of his practical jokes on you, and he boarded up your front door. Oh, why, that big ape! He's been terrible to me all day with his jokes. Mm. Uh, did you hear about what he did with the lizards in my bathtub? Uh, yeah, Addison told us. Yeah, we also heard that it was your idea starting the practical joking in the first place. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. uh, well, yeah, well uh, I heard that same rumor myself sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, hello, everybody. No. Uh, I came over to tell Knock Knock that I'm sorry for, for boarding up her front door and, and giving her an attack of claustrophobia. Mm. 
And and I, I want you all to know this. What a real classy guy I am to say that. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. so yes, sweet. Nice. And, and to show you what a real solid dude I am, I even got knock knock. A please forgive me present. Oh. Oh, oh that's nice. Oh, just yeah. what I think. Oh, oh, kind of oh, that's great. 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 Oh, Oh. And no more practical jokes, okay? Yes, yes. There you go. Oh, All right. Okay. Oh, right. Oh, right. Oh, right. Hey, everybody, how about a coaster ride? Ready? Oh, what are you going to do? Okay, 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 but first, I thought everybody might like a little peanut brittle. Oh, yeah. Ready for those spiders. Cobwebs all gone, sleepyhead. Ah, bring on those succulent little spinners. Here you go, watch this. What sports do woodpeckers like? Hockey and baseball. Why hockey and baseball? Hockey sticks and baseball bats have the highest quality wood. change your image. Cheap. Cheap. Yeah. Well, look, you are Mark Hamill, right? That's what they say. Yeah. Yeah, everybody thinks of you as Luke Skywalker, commander of the Rebel Alliance in Star Wars and the Empire Strikes Back, right? I suppose that's true. Ah, 
So, your image isn't Mark Hamill at all. It's Luke Skywalker, and I can change all of that for you. Really? Yeah. An image is what people think you are. I can turn you into anything you want to be. Well, have you had any, any experience, you know, <clears throat> changing images? Are you kidding? Well, name one image you've changed. Mickey Mouse. You changed Mickey Mouse's image? Yeah, yeah. Listen, when he started out, he was a sniveling little rodent, hooked on cheese, terrified of cats. Today, he runs a movie company and two amusement parks. Doesn't even act anymore. He's a business tycoon. Gee, that's amazing. Yeah. Well, listen, what sort of image do you think would be good for me? Well, let's check in the cards. Okay. Okay. Chanel, director. Nah. Ah, hey, here's a good one. What? How would you like to be a comedian? Comedian? Yeah, listen, here. Read this out loud. Okay. <clears throat> Want to hear a joke about it? No, 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 no. Out loud. <clears throat> Get into it. Come on. Motivation. <clears throat> Get it out. Hey, you want to hear a joke about a chocolate pie? It's rich. <laughs> uh, there are two things I can't eat for dinner. Breakfast and lunch. <laughs> Don't stop me if you've heard this one. I want to hear it again. <laughs> mm. I wonder if it hurts to crack a joke. <laughs> no, I don't think these jokes would cheer up a laughing hyena. Well, listen, the material is okay. You're, you're just not a natural born comic. That's what mm. it is. Well, what else have you got in there? Well, let's see. <gasps> yeah, that's a good one. How would you like to be a cowboy? That, that's a great image. Cowboy? Here's a card. Okay. Okay. Yeah, listen, I got some motivation for you, okay? Okay. Put it up here. Put that on for size. Oh, great. Isn't that okay. nice? Yeah, right. that's nice. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I'll be a hornswoggled coyote if you're not a side-winding, yellow-bellied, lily-livered cayuse of a cattle rustling barn burner. What do you think? Well, keep the rocket ship running, kid. Well, hey. you know, maybe I should be a serious actor. But you're already a serious actor. What are you talking about, No, Mark? but I, I mean without the spaceship, you know? Oh, you want to be the next Cary Grant, huh? Well, I never thought about that. Well, think about it. You already got the chin for it. Hmm. Well, what about some Shakespeare, you know? To be or not to be... I the riddle. How about if I just settle on being myself and that way... Any image people want to give me, it's up to them. What a great idea. There was only one, one more card in, the, in the here anyway, you know? Oh, really? What was the card? Well, let me see now. What did it say? It said, uh, would you like to be thought of as a, a matter baby? Well, what's a matter baby? Well, give me that line just one more time. What's a matter baby? Nothing, baby. What's the matter with you? <laughs> You're not a well gorilla. Could become a comedian with that, huh? <laughs> well, I think we accomplished, accomplished a lot, you know? Long sessions make me hungry. Oh, I know that. How'd you know? Well, you gotta be hungry. You're out to lunch. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> hey, Mark, what do you mean by that? Get on board on the Great Space Coaster We'll explore a kind of ride of fantasy To a place where dreams fly fast and free With new friends and new things to see We'll spin you through the galaxy On the Great Space Coaster Oh, on the Great Space Coaster Off we go You are unwise to lower your defenses. There is no way of knowing when the dark side may rise up again. During the hours of darkness, the Empire could be refueling for the attack. Will the armored Sentinel transport vehicle be ready to retaliate before it's too late? Will the rebel force be strong enough to deal with the Imperial Stormtroopers? Only you can decide with Star Wars toys. 
This is the Masters of the Universe Mighty Cycle from Tonka. Adult assembly required. It's got bold galactic designs and super sleek styling. Masters of the Universe Mighty Cycle with big wide track wheels that let you master turns. Master spins. Master the action. Masters of the Universe Mighty Cycle. New from Tonka. Alright, I hope you guys are still liking Great Space Coaster. This might be the last episode I show for a while, because um, there's definitely only a handful that I can find. Uh, I know there's a bunch, uh, but they're just not out there. Uh, so hopefully, I can score some more. Don't know. Putting it out there. If you have VHS tapes full of Great Space Coaster, uh, you want to send them to me? Send them to 124 North Sunset Drive, Pick Ohio for five. Send them to my shop. I'll get them. So... I really mixed this week's up quite a bit uh, because, you know, some of the cartoons we were airing have ended. Uh, you know, Dino Riders is done. Visionaries is done. So I went through, dug out some more, picked up some requests. So hopefully the requests are at the end, hopefully. I always like doing that because then if, the, if it screws up, I can just chop off the end. I don't have to take them out of the middle. Uh, take all the dialogue and stuff I throw in there. Just take it off at the end. Cut it off. Just... Alright. We're bringing you more hay. It's the king. Uh, it's it's funny because I, I found out that hey, the, the king and his buddies have appeared on Jellystone. Um, I just don't know how I feel about Jellystone. I watch an episode here and there. And I think I like it, but then the next episode, I don't much like. So, I'm still on the fence about it. I keep watching the episode here and there. I haven't watched the entire series. So, but this is Hey the King. And uh, this is King of the Jokers and Hot Gold Fever. And I want to point something out in here. Um, yeah, it, it, the two episodes... I put them together, and like I said, uh, I, I was, there is one episode missing, but I love the fact that the hippo is called H, Big H. Um, I, I think if they re-release this, they might want to go back and re-edit that. doesn't work in today's day and age. So here you guys go. This is episodes five and six. Enjoy. the king and his friends. Girls! Girls! Look who's coming! Perfect three-point landing. Yeah, two back wheels and big H. <laughs> Hey, just in time for me to greet my female fan club. Ring a ding ding, rat a tat tat. We got a new king, it's Cool Cat. Cool Cat? Hey, girls, girls. What about me? We got what we want, King. Him. Easy, girls. There's plenty of cat to go around. As for you, Sonny, get lost. <laughs> Who's this cool cat? He's a big rock star, man. Clyde sings better than he does. Big H, you just gave the king another great idea. I did? We'll form our own rock group. That's what I call getting it on. A groove, man. All we need now is to be discovered. Hey, King, look at this. Become a rock star and get rich quick. Foxy Records. Hey, there's our answer. Hey, great. Uh, yeah. oh, sensational. Oh, we will work. All right, cut. Now somebody hand me the phone and I'll call Foxy Records. Sure, King. Thanks, Clyde. I don't know what we'd do without you. 
Naturally. I'm going to make you all big stars. Or my name isn't Wiley Fox. Hey, oh, boy. That's <laughs> cool. Great. Hey, wow. Uh, but first you'll have to make a demo. That's going to cost you $500. If we had $500, we'd be rich. Well, let me know when you get the money. Where are we going to get 500 clams? No sweat, man. Leave it to the king. Show winner gets five hundred dollars, and we know who the winner's gonna be, right? Right. Gee, cool cat. It's nice of you to take us to the bong show. Yeah, real cool. But are you sure you can get us in? No problem, girls. Just get out, and you'll get in. Cool cat knows everybody. Here he is. Steady, man. Steady. Like, wow. These outfits are real groove, King. Whoa, whoa, whoa. King, what are you guys doing here? We're in the show. In the show? We've formed a rock group, Zelda. A rock group? You've got to be kidding. <laughs> You'll be laughing out of the other side of your mouth when we cut our first record. Right after we take first prize on the Bong Show. And we'll see about that. Thank you, thank you. And now we present a new rock group, The King and His Jokers. <laughs> Danger <laughs> overload. <laughs> Where's Cool Cat? Look. Uh-oh. I think he's up to something. Yeah, too hot. What's happening? A shame. A promising career going up in smoke. <laughs> Terrific! What a finish! Yeah, it almost finished us. And here's your $500. Thanks, I think. I saw the show on TV and came right over. You got a terrific gimmick. Thanks. Here's the money I promised you. I had faith in you, son. Hey, what about our demo? Demo? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, be at my office tomorrow morning. Demo? That's what they think. <laughs> we'll never get to the studio, skids. Move this thing. You got it. Foxy Records. All right, men. Follow the king to fame and fortune. <laughs> Look, there's the sheriff. What's going on? We're here to cut a record for Wiley Fox, Sheriff. You boys won't need those instruments. Wiley's a con man. Con man? He was trying to sneak out of town when we caught him. Hey, what about our money? Yeah, like where's the five big ones, pal? Sorry, fella. That's showbiz. Say, uh, officer, have you ever thought of becoming a rock star? Like my cue. Rat a tat tat. 
Ding, ding, ding! Down with the cat! Up with the king! Huh? The king? Oh, you're so wonderful, king! You're oh, the greatest! Wow. Oh, wow! Hold it a minute! Oh. Cool it! What do I owe the pleasure of all this uh, feminine company? We saw Cool Cat trying to ruin your act during the Bong Show. Ruin our act? I didn't think anyone could ruin our act. He sneaked over and pulled all the electric switches backstage when you started playing. That's what burned out your instruments. Uh-oh. Hey, Cool Cat, the king wants to talk to you. I'd better hit the road. Quick, guys, after him. They'll never catch me. This baby can beat anything on wheels. Move it, Skids. He's splitting the seam. I got a hammer to the floor, man. <laughs> He's off the road and heading for the city dump. Oh, no! You know, I think Cool Cat's kind of down in the dumps. Down in the dumps? <laughs> <laughs> I've lost my appetite for rock and roll, but not for food. Thanks for the trait, Kang. You're the greatest. I know. I mean, I really know. Hey, you guys were terrific. How about appearing again tonight on The Bong Show? The Bong Show? Hey, no way are we gonna go through that again. What did I say? What, what did I say? Get ready for, hey, it's the king. Hey, there's nothing like going camping outdoors with Mother Nature. You said it, King. It's gonna be a real blast. Blast is right. The engine's barreling over. I'll bet the trailer's overloaded, Skids. Big H packed it. So what'd you pack, Big H, huh? Just the bare necessities. 200 pounds of hamburger, 50 apple pies, a dozen chocolate cakes. Looks like a storm is coming. We better camp right here, get that tent up, and in a hurry. Move it! Move it! Watch out for the eggs. <laughs> All right, yucky, yucky. <laughs> That's the last thing, King. Just in time, Clyde. We're in for a big blow. Here it comes. The tent's blowing away. Everybody grab hold. King. Hey, there's a cave. Let's get in out of this storm. We'll be safe in here. Did I say safe? Hey! King, 
What's he so mad about? He was taking his winter nap and we woke him up. Hey, I got it. Clyde, you can sing him back to sleep. Huh? Sing him a lullaby and quick. Okay. Rock a bye, baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come cradle, baby, and all. Hey, you did it, Clyde. Oh, it's cold in this cave. Clyde, bring some more paper for the fire. Sure thing, King. Hey, wait. This isn't paper. It's like uh, that stuff, you know, parchment. Stuff called parchment, eh? All right, let the king take a look. Casa de Tesoro de Oro. Big H, you're into high school Spanish. What's this, uh, Tesorio de Oreo? It means treasure house of gold. Treasure house of gold? And look what's on the back, King. Oh, boy! It must be a map to a lost Spanish treasure. Terrific. All in favor of spending our weekend finding gold and getting rich, say I. Well, now, Saika, I do believe we found us some babes in the woods. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, right on! According to the map, the treasure's right down Schnook Highway. That's Chinook, an old Indian word. Schnook, Chinook. We gotta find it to get to the treasure. Treasure? Well, what do you know? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Hey, you guys need help? Yeah, we're looking for this, uh, like, uh, Schnook Highway. That's Chinook. Oh, well, it's the middle road there. Hey, thanks, Mac. My pleasure, pal. Gee, what a nice guy. We gotta be almost there, guys. Hey, watch out. Hit the brakes. Hey. Where'd that lake come from? They must have built a dam since our map was drawn. And the treasure's under all that water. How are we gonna cut? As usual, the king is getting a terrific idea. You see, all we gotta do is float out there, and then we can dive for the treasure. We'll wait till they find it, and then move in. <laughs> Uh, according to my calculations, we're just about over the treasure. Terrific! Okay, Skid, stop the car. Clyde, throw out the anchor. Right. Water King. Well, now, looks like they've spotted it. Time to go to work, sidecar. You think it's going to work? It'll work as long as Big H keeps getting the air to us. So let's go. Here comes trouble. Retract landing gear. That was close. Come on, let's keep looking. Hey, hey, hey. It's an old Spanish adobe. And look at that old ox card. It says Tesoro de Oro. Hey, we found the gold. Wow. Hey, it's that biker.
Alaska. And he's got our treasure. And there is no gold here. Just cans of hot chili peppers. Tesoro de Oro chilies. And this thing is not a treasure map. It's a menu for a Mexican restaurant. Huh? That X marks where the restaurant was before they filled up the lake. I'll say this, King. They're great chilies. Hey, you guys. I brought that stuff ashore. It's mine. Help yourself. Like I said, there's nothing like camping out with Mother Nature. Uh, what's for dinner, Big H? Well, we've got fried chilies, boiled chilies, roasted chilies, steamed chilies, pickled chilies, sweet chilies, toasted chilies, smoked chilies, salted chilies, baked chilies, stuffed chilies. Cut! Let's all go to the malt shop and get a hot dog without the chili. What's the rush? Slow down, don't go. Enjoy the taste. You can add pounds from all that haste. Don't swallow whole. Please chew each bite. Well, two food will die just right. Chew, 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 chew. That's it. Nice and easy. Chew, 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 chew. Slow food. She is a creature of legend. In an age of sorcery and savagery. Well, what have we here? <laughs> Demons. No! And dragons. She may be the last unicorn. All I want to know is if you've seen other unicorns like me somewhere in the world. You can find the others if you are brave. They passed down all the roads long ago, and the Red Bull ran close behind them and covered their footprints. Oh, I could never leave this forest. But I must know if I am the only unicorn left in the world. The classic tale is now a classic animated adventure. Featuring the voices of Mia Farrow. The, the spell was wrong, but there was true magic in it. Alan Arkin. My dear, you deserve the services of a great wizard, but I'm afraid you'll have to be glad of the aid of a second-rate pickpocket. Jeff Bridges. That is exactly what heroes are for. It's you and me, Moth. Hand to hand to hand to hand. Robert Klein. Christopher Lee. I am King Haggard. And the music of America. It's the last unicorn. journey into the unknown. What's that? Uh, go on! A mystery full of wonders and a fantasy beyond imagining. Not that one. Hmm? I want to know who she is. Spender Delight! Last unicorn. The legend will live forever. Alright. I hope you're liking it. I hope you like, hey, it's the king. Um, I do love the fact that the alligator has to wear a scuba helmet and have oxygen. Uh, I know alligators need oxygen, but I think that's goofy, you know, because, you know, they're alligators. Alright. Um,. This is not, I repeat, I don't think I'm going to do the uh, Saturday morning, all the fuzzy animals and stuff. Uh, people just like the mix. 
So, I'm not doing that. Uh, I might go back and do an all action one because people really like that one. So, but until then, I'm taking a break from Kissy Fur. I, I somebody posted the other day and I was like, man, I think it might be Stockholm syndrome, but uh, I'm missing Kissy Fur. Uh, I'm, this is gonna be two weeks without Kissy Fur. We're we're gonna give you at least a three week break. So I think I'm gonna write him off next week too. So, but. We're bringing you the Get Along Gang. That's right, the Get Along Gang. Uh, yes. So, you think you get away from Kissy for the Get Along Gang comes in. So, it's, just gotta love it. So, here you go. This is Get Along Gang, episode six. Enjoy. <music> Such a good sport, but get along, gang, get along, gang. There's Wooma and Daddy with the spirit. The bingo, the prankster doesn't ruin it. Logical, of course, so we'll figure it out. And that's the steer by the lead machine. Get up with the get along, gang. Come on, there it fits his tone in. Get up with the get along, Idea, Zipper. See? Everything's fit and we still have room for Dottie's potato salad. I wonder where she is. It's not like her to be late. Hi, everybody. Here's the potato salad. I'm sure you'll have a great time, guys. I can't come. I have to stay with my cousin Wilton today. Gee, Dottie, it won't be the same without you. Wait a minute. I've got an idea. What is it, Montgomery? Why don't we take cousin Wilton on the picnic with us? Sure! Great idea! Great idea! Oh, gosh. You don't know my cousin Wilton. He's... Oh, come on. It's always fun to have another kid along. But he's not a kid. Cousin Wilton is old. And he's crotchety. He complains a lot and... Then it'll be up to us to make him happy. That'll be our good deed for the day. Really? You guys are the greatest. Let's go! What is that? I think it's the brakes. Let me see if they work. They work. Isn't that great? Uh-oh. Look, we're here. Bingo! My cousin Wilton is a very fussy man. I don't want you to play any jokes on him. Do you understand? Come on, everyone. Let's go meet cousin Wilton. Bingo, you stay with the caboose. And remember, no jokes or pranks or else. Okay, okay. Bingo, my cousin Wilton is a very fussy man. Hey! If Cousin Wilton's that fussy, then he won't like our squealing brakes. Now, how could I fix him? Yeah, I don't know how you youngsters ever talked me into this. Traveling in a caboose at my age. <laughs> I'm already exhausted from walking down here. Watch those bones, Sonny and Mikey Prittle. <laughs> I assume that big stuffed chair is for me? <laughs> when does this train hit the tracks? Let's go! Big problem! The brakes don't work! What do you mean the brakes don't work? I just oiled them! You did! Oh no! Disaster! If we oil the brakes, we're doomed! We can't stop! I thought the squeak would bother Cousin Wilton, so I... Oh, no! Oh! Do something, Montgomery! Right! 
Oh no! There's a hairpin turn ahead! Hang on, everybody! Lean to your left! Lean to your right! We're doomed! We'll never make it! Whee! This is fun! <laughs> I really hate traveling. Whoa! We made it! Hey, who turned off the sun? Is everyone all right? Cousin Wilton, you're not hurt, are you? Can we do that again? Let's see where we are. Oh, it looks like an abandoned mine. Probably. A gold mine! Did you say gold mine? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Is that a ghost? Well, which way did we come in? There's only one thing to do. We'll split up and find which way leads out. Oh dear, Cousin Wilton, I do hope this isn't too much excitement for you. Why don't you rest in the clubhouse while we look around? No, no. I'll, I'll help look. Montgomery, why don't you and Bingo stay here and fix the brakes? Nah, I want to explore. Bingo and I would be glad to help. Right, Bingo? It's the least I can do. All right, let's look for a way out. Oh, that's silly, Portia. This old mine has been abandoned for years. I'll sure be glad when we're out of these creepy tunnels and back in Green Meadow. <laughs> Leave this place while you can. There's a ghost! A real ghost! Look, Cousin Wilton, it's another tunnel. <laughs> Cousin Wilton. Portia, I think my eyes are playing tricks on me. I want to see what this ghost is made of. Cousin Wilton, I still don't believe in ghosts, but I wouldn't mind exploring a different tunnel. What a mess! We'll never get it fixed. Bingo, you've been stupid before, but this one beats them all. No problem. We'll just borrow the brakes from that old ore car. I'll get it. Gold! Gold! And it's mine! There's a... a... a ghost! Another one! A real one this time! Don't be silly. It must be Bingo messing around again. Bingo! Come out here! I'll be right there! Uh, Montgomery... Bingo's back there. Who's that? Leave this place while you can. I'm no chicken. You've been warned. Oh. On the other hand, I'm no fool either. Let's get out of here. Sounds good to m me. <laughs> I'm all packed. How about you guys? Bingo! I didn't find any gold. Hurry! Portia and Wilton are lost! Right away! Wow! Just imagine how many toys I can buy with this! Cave in! Let's go! What about Portia and Wilton? Well, at least things couldn't get any worse. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have said that. Look out! Whee! <laughs> this is fun! Oh, sorry, Cousin Wilton. Uh oh Now, how do you stop this thing? Well, it's straight for the caboose. Oh! 
close as this one. that my life at home is boring. Now let's see who our spooky friend is. It's an old prospector. Go! All my life I've been searching for the mother load, and now you found it. Is that why you tried to scare us away? But we don't want your gold. You don't? We don't? Well, that's a relief. We just want to get home. After all you've done for me, I'd be glad to show you the way out. The lies! The lies! Thanks for everything! Cousin Wilton, are you sure you don't want us to see you home? You got tired walking to the station this morning. No! I'm feeling great now. It's amazing what a little fresh air and excitement does for an old fella like me. <laughs> I'm a new man, thanks to all of you. <laughs> Are you guys sure this is a good idea? I think I'm getting airsick. Who ever heard of an airsick fairy princess? Whee! Hey, Bingo! Straighten up and fly right! Come on, Zipper! Get me down! I think I'm getting airsick! <laughs> oh, I think it's so exciting that Porsche's in the school play. Me too! Let's hear your line again. Yeah! Joy and... That's one way to get the day off to a flying start. Here's the chemistry set you wanted to borrow, Montgomery. Chemistry sets? Not a Give us a break! You gotta be kidding! But I'm afraid the chemicals got a little mixed up. That's not the only thing mixed up around here. Don't you remember what happened the last time you had a chemistry set? Boom! The clubhouse needed that extra window. Besides, the clubhouse needs a new coat of paint. I can whip up some in no time. I know exactly what I'm doing. Joy and happiness are here. Joy and happiness are here. Joy and happiness are... Please, Montgomery. We're trying to rehearse. Don't worry. You're not bothering me. Joy and happiness are here. Joy and... That's enough rehearsal for now, Portia. But I want to be perfect. You, you are. are. You're great. You'll knock them dead. Right, Montgomery? Montgomery. Montgomery! Montgomery, where are you? Up here. Montgomery, what are you doing up there? Nothing, just hanging around. Stop fooling around, Montgomery. Yeah, get down here and help us clean up this mess. I can't. I accidentally spilled a drop of my new paint on myself, and here I am. I must have mixed up some sort of anti-gravity formula by mistake. Did you say anti-gravity formula? Come on, everyone. Let's get him down. 
This is great! Alright, all together now. One, two, three! <laughs> it's no use. We can't get him down. If we can't get Montgomery down, then I'm going up. This is worth a million dollars. A zillion dollars. Look out, Bingo. You'll fall. We're rich. We'll be floating on Easy Street. Oh, what about dear Montgomery? We'll never get him down. Rich, rich. And just think, my pal, my good friend, my partner here can mix up as much of this stuff as we want. Rich, super rich. Oh, boy. Wow, this is fun. Let me try it. My turn. This looks like fun. Me, me. Isn't it wonderful? Yeah, wonderful. It's almost gone. No problem. Montgomery can mix up all we need. Right, Montgomery? Uh, sure. Catch you guys later. What about my play rehearsal? You promised you'd be there. That's kid stuff. I've got important business to take care of. My play's not kid stuff. We still haven't figured out how to get Montgomery down. I know how. Fall! Uh-oh, gang. Look out! Your anti-gravity formula's wearing off! Run for it! Looks like my anti-gravity formula will never get off the ground. Come on, it's time for my play rehearsal. You guys go ahead. I've got a mess to clean up here. I sure wish Bingo were coming with us. He promised to watch my rehearsal. I wonder what important business Bingo had to take care of. Stewart Airplane Company? I'm sorry, Mr. Stewart is not here at the moment. Thank you. Hi there. I'm here to see the boss. I'm sorry, Mr. Bingo Bet It All Beaver. <laughs> but Mr. Stewart isn't here right now. But I'm going to make Mr. Stewart a very rich man. Mr. Stewart is already a very rich young man. Besides, he isn't here right now. Good day. I bet Mr. Stewart's in. He just doesn't want to see me. I've got to get past his secretary. Delivery for Mr. Stewart. I'll sign for it. Mr. Stewart has to sign for it personally. Out. Cleaning woman, I'm here to clean Mr. Stewart's office. Go right in, bingo. Thanks, rats. And stay out. This is more difficult than I thought. Maybe I'll get the others to help. I've just got to remember that anti-gravity formula. Let's see. A dash of this, a pinch of that. No, no, that's not it. Let's see. A smidgen of this, a bit of that. No, that's not right either. I'll never remember. Portia, dear, you were wonderful in rehearsal. This will be the best play the school's ever put on. Now aren't you glad we made you practice flying in the clubhouse? I just wish Bingo had been there. Me too. Bingo! What happened to you? I tried to sell Montgomery's anti-gravity formula to Mr. Stewart at the airplane factory. But Mr. Stewart was at Portia's play rehearsal. His daughter is in the play. You will come to see my play tonight, won't you, Bingo? Yeah, I guess so. Mr. Stewart will be there. You bet! I wouldn't miss it for the world! Joy and happiness are here! Joy and happiness are here! Joy and... Get ready, Portia. Five minutes till curtain. Montgomery, did you mix up a big batch of anti-gravity formula like I asked? Well, uh, not exactly. But Mr. Stewart from the airplane factory is in the audience. Once he sees my special demonstration, I'll, I mean, we'll be rich. Wait, Bingo, there's something you should know. Mr. Stewart, have I got a deal for you. 
How do you like a formula for anti-gravity? Anti-gravity? I didn't get where I am today by believing in anti-gravity formulas. You just sit back and enjoy the play, Mr. Stewart, and leave everything to old Bingo. Anti-gravity formula. What'll these kids think up next? Joy and happiness are... Get ready, Portia, you're on! I hope I remember my line. Don't worry, this is one performance no one will ever forget. Wish me luck! Here I go! Joy and happiness are... <gasps> there is an anti-gravity formula. I'll give you a million dollars for it. Hold on, Portia. We'll have you down in a jiffy. Did you hear that, Montgomery? A million dollars! Where's the formula? Not now, Bingo. We've got to get Portia down. We're rich! Rich! Where's the kid? I've got to have his anti-gravity formula. Well, Mr. Stewart, do we have a deal? My boy, we're walking over to my airplane factory to sign the deal right now. Why walk? We can fly. What? This is fun! What happened to Bingo and Mr. Stewart? We. I just got one question. How do we get down? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Get me down now. Just wait till I get my hands on you. Bingo doesn't know the formula wears off. Good thing they're flying over the old pond. Whoa! <laughs> Your anti-gravity formula's a washout. Does this mean I don't get my million dollars? Million dollars? Why, you... Transport holds up to 42 action figures, each sold separately. Some assembly required. You'll never get me, Rebel Commander. You can't escape, Imperial TIE Fighter Pilot. Didn't find the lasers. Good. Backpacks and gas masks are safe. That means he's hiding in the escape hatch. You knew where I was. All this trick in the book. New Rebel Transport. Some assembly required. Action figures, each sold separately. From Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back Collection. Hey, I hope you're still liking Get Along, gang. I'll keep mixing that up. Let it go for a while. Bring it back. Too saccharine, too sticky sweet for me, man. Um, I, I can't, I can't show that every week. Um, I, I, I didn't mind it when I was a little kid, man. As an adult, sometimes those are hard to watch. Ugh. But one I have not aired in a while. That's right. It's Punky, the Punky Brewster one, man. It's amazing how much legs this show had, man. It came from a live-action show, got a cartoon, and then they brought it back on Peacock Network and brought a lot of the original cast back. That's crazy. Hell, the cartoon had a bunch of the original characters doing their voiceover. That's amazing for that time period. You know, but, you know, shoot. The Fonz did it with uh, the Happy Days gang. Um... Laverne and Shirley did it. Uh, Mork from Mork did it. It's just amazing day and age, I guess. I mean, could you imagine 
watching a Star Wars cartoon on Netflix or on Disney Plus and like the entire cast came back to do the voiceover for it. It'd be insane. It's no, you get people similar to it. Of course, you did get a better Anakin in Clone Wars than you got Anakin in uh, you know, Attack of the Clones. Just saying. So here you guys go. This is It's Punky. This is episodes three and four. And this is Gold Rush, and this is Far Out Pharaoh. Enjoy. Touch your cookie, Brandon. I have to run out and get some film for this job. Maybe you can have one when I get back. Ooh, boy! Bling gumpers! Yum, yum, yummy, yummy! <laughs> hey, okay, oh, woof, woof. I'll be putting them back. Look, a leprechaun. Oh, maybe he's knowing the way back to Shandong. <laughs> Why, I'm free. Could it be? My tired Irish eyes must be playing tricks. Why, it's Glomer. Don't you remember me, laddie? Yeah, you being Bad Barney from Shandun. Bad Barney? Nobody calls me that anymore. Yeah. Oh, that'll be taking you some respect, laddie. Blubber lad, what do you do for fun around here? Oh, stop that! My lucky person will be home from school soon. I am home. Gloomer, what's going on? And who is he? Barney O'Reilly, lass. Leprechaun in exile. Don't worry. Gloomer put bad Barney back in place right away. Huh? <laughs> You'll have to catch me first. <laughs> Ah, look at all this gold. Stop him, Glomer. Hurry, he'll be home any minute. I'll have none of that, Glomer. And I won't be going back in that plate. Ah! Goodbye, me friends. I'm off. Where did he come from? He's one bad leprechaun from Shandun. He steal gold, play jokes. Shandun make him prisoner in plate. But uh, I, I make a teensy weensy boo boo. Let him out, huh? Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't recognize him till it was too late. But I use magic dust and trap bad Barney and something else before he do anything bad. Punky. What happened here? Uh, hi, Henry. Just having to rearrange the furniture. Do you like it? No. Put it back while I finish my shoot. Punky! 
The kitchen! My camera's set up! Just a little after-school snack. Uh, I'll clean it up. You certainly will. With magic dust from Pouch. First, we've got to clean up this mess. Bunky, it's clean out here. And it's clean in here. All it takes is a little punky power. So can I, Brandon and I go out and play? Why not? I've got to finish my job. Any idea where Bad Barney would go? It's hard to think in here, you know. Sorry, Gloomer. Now where do we look? Day. Yeah, you won't believe what we ran into at the park. This little guy, dressed in green, comes along and zap! He got me! Bad Barney! Ooh. Come on, I'll explain on the way! Look out! Here he comes again! No! Oh, how does he do that? I can truly learn to like it here. Are you sure Bad Barney will think these are real gold? Oh, yeah. Bad Barney follow gold into cave. Then I using magic dust to zap him into book. <laughs> Big deal. Everybody hide. And what have we here? A bit of the glitter. Little something to keep you busy while I get away. That no good scheming puzzle whack got my pouch. Where did he go? When I getting my hands on that puzzle whack. Good boy, Brandon. He's got bad Barney scent. Come on. This is the last of it. Solid gold. Oh, cheek of my heart. <laughs> Look at that gold. Hey, come back here. Call the police. We've been robbed. Just like Bad Barney in that truck. That's because it is Bad Barney. Let's get him. Bad Barney got away with Gomer's couch. Major bummer. I'm never finding Bad Barney now, and I'm never getting my pouch back. Punky! Did you hear the news? The police found a stolen armored car in the alley. And they're questioning everyone in the building. Uh-oh, Barney's here. What? Don't even ask.
That Barney! Did Henry see you? Nah. He stepped out for a bit with that police fellow. Okay, Barney, you're taking the long fall. I'll just be taking back my pouch. Don't count me out yet, laddie. Good boy. The magic desk, Loner. If I could just stop Bad Barney's magic. Shining stars! I, I can't see! Where'd he go? It's not being a play, but it's not bad. He's in the what? And he's not coming out until I take him back to Shandu. As I said, officer, I don't know anything about the empty armored truck. Empty? But feel free to search the apartment. Thank you, Mr. Warnemont. <gasps> the gold! That darn Barney! Glomer, you've got to put the gold back in the truck. Me been trying, but, but magic all pooped. Oh, I try again. <laughs> What's in there? That's my daughter's bedroom. Punky? Loomer, try! Henry! Nothing here. <sighs> Come in. Come in. Yeah, Jones here. We found the gold. It's, uh, in the truck. Well, thank you, Mr. Warnemont. How could they miss all that gold? Well, maybe whoever took it put it back. <laughs> That's a good one. If he only knew. <laughs> Necklace, Margo. Yep, that being really nifty neck hanger. Naturally. It takes impeccable taste to find a valuable bargain like this in a thrift shop. Hmm, that's looking familiar. Gloma knowing who is owner of that neck hanger. You mean somebody lost it? Yep. Gee, Margo, maybe we ought to return it. You want to return it? Okay, here we go. to Princess Tut Tut, Cairo, Egypt. I should have known. Who would Glomer know in Chicago? Look, ancient Egyptians. They don't look so old to me. Observe the royal scarab. The fire awaits, oh, Princess Tut Tut. Anyway, whatever it is, it's not good. Come on, we gotta 
save Margo before anything happens. They're being funny, Taxi. And there's poor Margo. Come on, we gotta get Margo out of this mess. Here to see the pharaoh. What's that say, Glomer? It's saying, servant's entrance. Wow, we're going to need a road map. Hi, somebody's coming. Wow. What do you call that? Ooh, that bunch of snazzy dudes. Totally righteous. Does Princess Tut Tut wear the royal scarab? Yes, oh great pharaoh. Then our wedding can proceed. Wedding? Ooh, I should have worn a tuxedo. Poor Margo's gonna miss the ceremony. Margo is the ceremony. We gotta follow them and stop that wedding. They went this way. That way. No, that way. That way. Don't worry, I'll find them. Help! Find me! I'm lost! Join the parade! Poor Margo must be scared to death. Yeah, and they'll probably have to drag her in. There she is! Oh, I really don't deserve such royal treatment. What am I saying? Of course I do! She's enjoying this? I should have known. So, what's our plan? Uh, well, can you do something, Glomer? Of course I can do something. Glomer always delivers. First get rid of the tablecloth, so I can see what I'm doing. Yours! Get me down! Guards! Capture those sorcerers! Come on, Margo! We gotta get out of here! The Pharaoh wants to marry you! What? I just thought they appreciated my charm, my beauty, my... Let's finish the list later! Disrupt. Well, I like that. I traipsed all the way from Cairo in this heat to marry you, and you were going to marry her. Your Princess Tut Tut? Daddy will hear of this, you two timer. Come, Pookie. Uh, I think we're in trouble. 
you're in trouble. Get us out of here, Glomer. Yeah, Glomer. Let's... Okay, me doing magical. Oh, I guess me not doing magicals. I wondered how they built pyramids. We'll be building a lot of them. Unless we can get the princess to marry the pharaoh. Or Margo, a prisoner in the temple. She might be a mummy by now. Oh, at least she's not wearing a hot hat. Look, Princess Tut Tut. She's leaving. Pookie's tummy. Glomer, if only you could wiggle your ears. Me can wiggle ears. Why didn't you say so? But magic sparklies kept getting out. Never mind. Just wiggle them. Okay. Ears and wiggling. <laughs> Well, that's over. How did we get in this mess anyhow? Your necklace! We came to return it! I almost forgot! Well, I hope she appreciates my good taste! <gasps> Look, Pookie! They found your dog collar! What do you say, Pookie? <laughs> what? A dog collar? <laughs> All this trouble for a dog collar? Go, <laughs> a, a dog collar! Well, at least it all ended happily. Funky, I'm home. Hi, Henry. <coughs> oh, you! If I didn't know better, I'd say you kids were playing in a sandstorm. Oh, Henry, you have such an imagination. for the beach, there's some instant entertainment that's always right in reach. You can hike it, you can bike it, you can swing it on your back, and it's right there where you need it when you're ready to relax. Yes, it's instant entertainment. <laughs> any place and any day. So no matter where you're going, <laughs> don't forget your book, okay? <laughs> 
deadly inhumanoid tendril lashes out, and the forest comes alive as the Redwoods help their scientist friends. Nasty Redwoods! Inhumanoids! Inhumanoids! The evil that lies within us! Redline and other figures sold separately from Hasbro. Inhumanoids! Alright. I'm always asking questions. Um, you know, like, what was your favorite curry? What was your favorite cereal? What was this? I was like, what's the first cartoon you remember watching? Um, mine, I would have to say Scooby-Doo. Uh, I love Scooby-Doo when I was a kid. Still like Scooby-Doo. So, it's, but, you know, came out in 69. I was born in 74. It was in syndication all the time. I remember Scooby-Doo. And, you know, that, that one stuck with me and, and from when I was little, but that's the first one I remember watching. So, t just tell me what you what you were watching, what you remember watching. See in the comments or when I go live on Saturdays. <sighs> hey, it's Punky. You know, I hope you guys like it. I, I yet again, I don't think I'm gonna air it every week. We're gonna mix it up. Um. One I think I'm going to keep airing, though, is one that y'all still like, and that is Spiral Zone. That's right. Spiral Zone is back. Actually, it's back this week, because look at this, man. I keep crazy notes, man. Weeks upon weeks upon weeks of notes. Of notes. So I can keep from doubling down on cartoons I've already aired. And I know that I'm doing that with uh, some of the episodes of Spiral Zone. Like I said, I want to acknowledge that. I'm going to do that because I found better quality copies than the one I had before. So we're just going to go ahead and give it to you in order. Not just bring it back later, way later. So this is Spiral Zone. This is episode six, Small Packages. Enjoy. Surrender or pay the consequences. It's all right, Stephen. I understand. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.
We are ready, Overlord. Begin. Back here, Max, before we lose you too. Are they all right? They're inside. I want to talk to you, Commander. I just wanted to thank you for saving my family. I don't know what I'd do if... It's all part of the job. Forget it. You don't think a military man should have a family, do you, Dirk? You made your decision, I made mine. I just wish I knew which one of us is right. The Zone Riders are your family. Does that include you? Especially me. Bandit. I'm here, Overlord. You planted the miniature Zone pod. It's in the pocket of McFarland's overcoat. Then, tomorrow we will take MCC. I'll be home early tonight. Good day, General. We've detected a new zone generator in Minneapolis. That's the food distribution hub for the whole Midwestern Command. We'll have to send in the zone riders. We'll be over Minneapolis in two minutes. We are penetrating the zone. What's that? A mini disc player. It's new. It contains everybody's greatest hits. I'm taking her down. There it is. Excellent. With the Zone Riders gone, MCC will be helpless against the Zone.
the generator. Blackness. I'm not reading you, General. Must fight it. Never give in. Zone Riders to MCC. Come in, McFarlane. Talk to me, General. Zone Riders to MCC Computer. This is Commander Dirk Courage. Confirm my voice print identification. And deactivate computer control defenses. Repeat, deactivate defenses. Everybody outside, quick! Away. Sir, stay away. No. No. Come in, McFarland. Stephen. We've lost all communications with MCC. Something's jamming computer control, too. That's why the automated defenses fired on us. Somehow, Overlord must have gotten a zone generator inside MCC. We have got to get inside and knock that generator out, or everybody in MCC will be under Overlord's control. We may not have much time. MCC is a closed environment completely self-contained. The zone may take effect much faster than normally. United Nations Defense Command the Zone Riders. Respond immediately. This is a top priority message. Commander Courage, sir. We've been monitoring your communications, Commander. We've issued orders to the 71st Defense Force Bomber Wing to destroy MCC immediately. The bombers have orders to reduce MCC to rubble. I'm afraid we have no choice. You have got to give us a chance to get inside and knock out that generator. The bombers will be on top of you in one hour, Commander. We have one hour. I know how to get inside. I can go down one of the vents to the geothermal energy plant under the mountain. If I shut down the turbines, it will cut off the power for the defenses. All right. But Hero goes. Why Hero instead of me? Because it's his job. <sighs> yes, sir. Launch intruder. outside MCC in one hour. By that time, everyone inside will be totally under my control. Open it up. He's inside. Hero, come in, hero. Don't. Oh, I've lost him. Uh, sound must activate. Uh.
Farland, now maybe Hero. Wing Commander to Zone Riders. Courage here. Get your team out of there, Commander. You've got ten minutes. Understood. Maybe Heroes cut the power to the defenses. There's only one way to find out if they're still working. Sir! Come on. To Mission Command Central. McFarland, this is your new master speaking. This is General McFarland. All security forces destroy the Zone Riders immediately. It's too late. Here they come. Katarina, we'll hold them off. You find that generator. That's your job. Good luck. All weapons on stun force. Katarina. 
Harlan! Deactivate the automated defenses! Wait, Harlan! Overlord, we have to retreat! There has maybe one shot left! Zone riders to UN bombers! We've retaken Command Central! Abort your mission! Over! Message received. Well done, Zone Riders. Don't. It's okay, Stephen. It's all over. Dirk? another miniature zone generator. Don't be a fool, Reaper. They won't fall for the same trick twice. We'll need another plan. It works! A small piece of zone generator was enough to set it off. Well, from now on, everyone entering MCC will simply have to be scanned for zone pods. Yes, he's right here. Goodbye, dear. Commander Courage. Yes, General? I'm having dinner with my family tonight. Someone who outranks both of us says I should invite you. Consider it an order, Dirk. Civilization dies, but its secrets are preserved in a mysterious place called the Hive. Now, good and evil sectors Sector. battle for those secrets. You control the monster Gnar, the giant destructible, the booby-trapped bridge, the secret laboratory. All the defenses left by the ancients in the mysterious Hive. Sectors by Coleco. Let's have a Play-Doh party! Yeah! yeah. <gasps> a shooting star! <laughs> you can have a Play-Doh party anytime with the Play-Doh Fun Factory. I made spaghetti! <laughs> Fire! Make a hose! No, it's a snake! I want your spaghetti! He got the spaghetti! By yourself or with the gang, you can have a Play-Doh party. It's fun! <laughs> the Play-Doh Fun Factory toy comes with everything you see here. If you guys ever get a chance, find this book and read it. It's a very good look at the secret history of comic book heroes and how they're all essentially fall into, you know, different, you know, classifications and they're all basically the same. Like the visionaries, lots of looks at Jack Kirby and stuff. You got the pulp characters. Who get evolve into newer pulp characters? Um, it looks at it like Edgar Rice Burroughs. Looks at Jack Kirby. Looks at all that stuff. Super good book to read. Plus great artwork by Joe Linsner. So gotta read that. Get a chance. All right. Hope you guys are still liking Spiral Zone. Um, I know I do, and it's it's such a cool concept and uh, very dark. Uh, yeah. So here you guys go. We ran out of Dino Riders. But you know what? We got Dino Saucers.
We're going to keep bringing that back. And the other day, I posted something about, you know, they need to do a remake of these shows, but in live action with, like, the, the special effects we have for, like, Jurassic Park. Somebody goes, man, you need Jurassic Park era stuff for Denver the Dinosaur. I went, yeah, that would be creepy. Um, but, yeah. That, that would be kind of fun to watch because it would just be so weird. As if Denver the Dinosaur wasn't weird to begin with. All right, here we go. I've been talking about it. We're doing Dinosaucers, and this is episode four, and this is Hooray for Hollywood. Enjoy. We used to be four ordinary teenagers until one day we met some new friends from out of town. They were called Dinosaucers. My friends and I became the secret scouts, allies to these dinosaurs from outer space, and joined in their battles against Genghis Rex and the evil Tyrannos. The dinosaurs are leaving, Bossasaur! Well, follow them! Not what you do, but what I do. What do you guys think of that move, huh? <laughs> yeah, great move, David. This wrestling is wonderful. Yeah, but maybe you could make one more move, like a little to your right. You're standing on my claw. Oops. Sorry about that. You see, that's all there is to wrestling. No matter how big your opponent is, you can use their size against them and still body slam them to the ground. Oh, you mean like that? Oh, I think you've got the picture, Bonehead. Well, I've had enough of this. Hey, where are you going? To this great new movie. It's supposed to be really hot. Ooh, it doesn't feel hot to me. You know, Bonehead, Sometimes, you're a real bonehead. I'll catch you guys later. Don't you want your movie? That's not the movie, it's a newspaper. It's just an ad for the movie. Let's see. Want ads, huh? Wanted, babysitter. Bonehead, why do they sit on babies? Beats me. Wow, Stego, look at this! A real dinosaur show at Worldwide Studios! Hey, let's tell the others and go check it out! I got a better idea. Let's go ourselves and not tell anyone. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no way! Maybe we can make friends with these dinosaurs and score some points with Elmo. No way! B -b -b by ourselves? Well, well, what if they're not friendly? Then we'll just do like David said and teach them about body slams. <laughs> Worldwide Studios, here we come! And Kylo, I want no clowning around on this scouting mission. You got it, Chief Asaur. Don't call me Chief! What? I, I didn't s -s see anything. You mean you didn't see a UFO with a giant warthog flying it? No, and you didn't either. Huh? What's that? Oh, the Bosasaurus is gonna love this. 
a dinosaur show. <laughs> I must inform Genghis Rex of this. And Kylo to Tar Pits too. Come in. What's your news, and Kylo? I've just discovered dinosaurs in a place called Worldwide Studios. Good job, and Kylo. These dinosaurs could be very useful to us. We must contact them and make them our allies. But your scaliness, what if they don't like us? Then we'll dino-nap them. We must get them out of the hands of humans. There it is, Bonehead. Worldwide Studios. Looks deserted. Take it down. Where should we land? By the side of that place. This lake doesn't have any plants. No, but it has something else. Did you see something move, Stego? Wow! Wow! wow. Stego, get back here! Help! Help! Whoa. I think he wants to be friends! <laughs> Stego, I think your plates were giving him dinosaurs. There he is again. Let's get out of here. Now, if you were a dinosaur, where would you hide? I am a dinosaur. Hey, maybe they're through one of those doors. Okay, let's try this one. What's all this stuff? Mammal suits, I guess. What do you think? I think it'd look better on Terex. Five minutes, gentlemen. I guess our time is up. She wasn't some kind of dinosaur. Nah, she looked more like one of those mud monsters back home. Yeah, you're right, she was pretty ugly. Hey, maybe they're in that wax museum. Yeah, there's always dinosaurs in museums. This place gives me the creeps. Yeah, me too. But we gotta find those dinosaurs. You go that way, then I'll check over here. <laughs> it's scary in here. Go on. B -b -b Bonehead, is that you? Oh! What? It was this big! It had claws! It had nasty, sharp, pointy teeth! It attacked me! That's okay. Nothing's gonna hurt you. I'm with you. Uh, I'm tired, and I want to go home. We'll never find those dinosaurs. Hey, let's take a rest in that cave over there. I can't see a thing in here. Hey, I think I feel some kind of switch. Hi, guys. Nice day, huh? Oh, 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 that must be a wrestling move David didn't tell us about. 
That looks like a safe place to land, Genghis Rex. I don't see any mammals anywhere. Let's go this way. Those ignorant mammals are shooting at us. Get them! What's wrong, Bossasaur? These guys won't fall down! They're fakes! Just cardboard cutouts! I'll fix them! I'll deal with you later! Let's go, Ankylo! The dinosaurs are that way! Time for the rest of your wrestling lesson! Hmm, that's strange. Bonehead and Stego, both gone? Where could they be? I wonder if this could have anything to do with why they're missing. Oh no! Now they must have gone to Worldwide Studios thinking these dinosaurs were real. Nah, they wouldn't. Oh yes, they would! Jeez! And Allo thinks we're a little slow! Take a look at these guys! Hey! These dinos are fake! And we broke them! Al's gonna be mad! Especially when he finds out we snuck out a lava dome for nothing! You okay? Yeah, I guess so. But we better pick this thing up. <laughs> Uh-oh! Let's get out of here! Except that we can! We're trapped! With... with... with, with humans! humans! And over here we have our dinosaur caves. And look, there's two of them now. But beware and hold tight. They're ferocious. What do we do now? Act like a dinosaur. Ah! Are they ugly? Yeah, you call them ferocious? We're ugly. You should talk, you tailless little. Forget about them. Now's our chance. Let's get out of here. Good idea. <laughs> My throat's killing me from all that roaring. <laughs> oh, no. Check this out. Here we go again. <laughs> They could have at least got my good side. Can I give the nice dinosaur my ice cream, Mommy? That's very nice of you, dear. It's always good to share. Here, Mr. Dinosaur. Oh, no. Are you okay? I guess so. I just wish it was seaweed ripple. Huh? Hey, doesn't that actor remind you of your mother? <laughs> You call that a makeup job? I do a better job than that with my eyes closed. <laughs> Look at this ear. Ah! The rubber is the cheapest I've ever seen. Ow! And this nose. For what they pay actors these days, you should be able to afford something better. Hey! Stop it! Ow! Rex, what should I do? Ignore the pompous mammals. We don't want to blow our cover. Just go along with them. Get this thing off of me! I can't take you anywhere. <laughs> what do we do now, Bonehead? This place is too crowded to make them run for it. I got an idea. Let's put those fake dinosaurs back on the tracks, then hide inside the cave till the studio closes. Too bad these things don't have handles. <laughs> you can say that again. Too bad these things don't have... <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> For an extinct life form, these things pack a wallop. Yeah, well, let's get them back on the tracks. <laughs> these guys could really stand to lose a few pounds. There they are, oh lord of the Tyrannos. Finally, my domination of this wretched planet can begin. Watch how a true leader of Saurians converts a follower to his cause. Greetings, noble dinosaur survivor. You must come with us. We need you to help us rule the Earth. Come back, you ungrateful lizard! Come back when Genghis Rex the Magnificent speaks to you! <laughs> Look, Mom, that cute dinosaur almost stomped that ugly one. You boorish mammals! How dare you laugh at me! It's Rex and Ankylo. What should we do? We've got to do what Allo would do. We must protect the humans. But how? We don't have any weapons. We've got your plates and spikes and my bonehead. It's just gonna have to do. Come on. It's the time! Saucers! Where? After them! It's that numbskull bonehead and his frady sore friend Stego! I've been waiting for this for a long time. Well, well, well what do we do now? Uh, running away sounds awful good. Hey, this tree is a fake! And so are these rocks! Those guys over in special effects are something else. Yeah, they're a real blast. Bonehead, let's get him with some of those moves David taught us. Great idea. So, you dare to meet me face to face? Yeah, so prepare to meet the ground. Uh, oh, oh. I seem to have missed something in the lesson. Wow! Yeah. That'll teach you to lay claws on the Lord of the Tyrannos! I wish I'd have stayed in bed. Here, Aunt Kylo, have a nice trip! Oh, oh whoopee! Oh. Take that, you overgrown Warthogosaurus! It's the fakes! Get off me, you egg brain! Hey, this is beautiful. Hey, look at this. Great. I can show you the you seem. And now that big ugly dinosaur is going to try and stomp on the little cute one. Hey, what are you doing? This isn't in my tour guide handbook. Oh well. It must be something new they added to the attraction. Quiet, you silly mammal. That's it! Put me down! Insults were not in my job agreement! Hey! Stop that! Where did you go? Get this off of me! I can't see! Oh! Mammal, come back here and fight like a... Dinah. I've had enough of this nonsense. In about a second, you're all going to be fossil. What a show. That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, this is even better than Monday Night Football. We've got to do something. We can't let him hate the humans. They don't deserve to be fossilized. Neither do we. Yeah, but at least they'll have a chance to get away. Use your plates to protect them. It was nice knowing you, Bonehead. Yes, they go. See you in the museum. Hold that pose, Wimposaurs. I want to remember you just like that. Ah, sweet victory. Yeah. What? No, not another mammal! Face it, Tyrannos. You've 
lost this battle. When are you going to realize the good guys always win? We can't capture you and take you back to Reptilon for justice this time. These innocent people might get hurt, but next time, we will. You've won this battle, but the war will rage on, and the Tyrannos will triumph! And Kylo, this is all your fault. When I get my claws on you... Uh, sorry, Keeposaurus. And don't call me Cheeposaurus! It is sorry, <laughs> Hey, take off your costumes! We want to see what you look like under there! Sorry, kids. Uh, break time. The actors got to eat. Union rules, you know. Yeah, sure. Come on, you guys. Let's get back to Lava Dome before Aloe notices you're gone. You, you said, said it! it. Yeah. yeah! Boy, wasn't that dinosaur show great? Oh, actors are so neat. Ah, they wouldn't even take off their costumes, the phonies. Did you see what I saw? Well, I hope you guys learned your lesson. I sure did. I'm never gonna sneak out of Lava Dome without permission again. And neither is Stego. Well, Stego. But I want to go back there every now and then. What for? Well, hey, I mean, now that I've gotten a taste of it, I can't give up show business. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are still liking the dino saucers because we're bringing the cartoons one of the ones back from last week that we actually got through the the YouTubes and that is mask man it's crazy mask is now in continuity in essentially essentially an IDW with GI Joe uh, part of the revolutions they brought them in and uh, they brought back Matt Tracker. He was a member of the G.I. Joes. They brought a figure for him. Um, they brought the the comic book back. Um, it, but they just kind of just like, okay, we did this. Hmm. That's it. Uh, there was rumors that they were going to introduce Mask uh, in one of the new Transformer movies. And they were going to be a part of G.I. Joe. Which, if you have Mask... You know, you had Joe, and then you had Venom, which could have been part of Cobra. But they're going to use transformable battle vehicles to fight the Transformers. And, I guess, Cobra and, and you know, Venom. But, yeah, it was going to spin off out of uh, the Transformers movies. We're going to have members of G.I. Joe show up in Transformers. Uh, then they build their vehicles to be able to transform to fight the Transformers. And then it all got dropped. Um... Because the G.I. Joe movies went nowhere near that. Transform movies are all got rebooted with Bumblebee. <sighs> uh, but I, I, I can hope that we eventually get a mask movie. Because that would be kind of fun. You know, except for some of the mask powers. just I don't think it would translate well. Hmm. But here you guys go. This is Mask Episode 2. The Star Chariot. Enjoy. <laughs> Spectrum's got the super vision. 
is tired today, dog. Like you, he is hot and his breath moves slow. I don't know what you're talking about. We'll see about that. It's not here. Start talking, old man. Dagger's temper is explosive. And his fuse is real short. There was an emerald arrow. An ancient tribe passed it down from one chief to the next. But the tribe long ago disappeared. The arrowhead has never been seen since. You better tell us where it is, Chief Slow Eagle, or you'll find there is a snake deadlier than a rattler. Whip on. Oh! I... I passed it on to my grandson. Let's go. Please, don't hurt him. Oh. It was terrible. They used their strange weapons to force me to tell them Daniel had the other half of the arrowhead. Your grandson, Daniel? Yes. Why? Daniel and his mother picked up Scott this morning. They drove to Canyon Creek to go fishing. I'd better hurry. What have I done? Select the mask agents best suited for this mission. Personnel selected. Bruce Sato, mechanical engineer and design specialist. Vehicle code name, Rhino. Catching fish, T Bog, not tin cans. What are you doing, Scott? Shh, here comes one. Got him! I haven't even had a nibble. Here I come from a long line of great Indian chiefs, but I can't even catch one fish. Hey, don't feel bad. I hardly ever catch any fish. Today I was just lucky. Maybe, but a lot luckier than me. At least you caught some. Here, I want you to have half. And I want you to have half of what I caught, too. I want to show my friendship. It's so beautiful. It's a tradition in my tribe. 
between friends. You can wear it until the setting sun. Wow, thanks. And I'll take good care of it. And according to old Indian legend, the other half of the arrowhead was lost over a thousand years ago. Lost all that time? It's curious. Where could it possibly be? Maybe in an old Indian couch. <laughs> <laughs> but an emerald arrowhead wouldn't be worth more than a few thousand dollars. Venom doesn't bother with anything less than a million. It matters not what a key is made of, so long as it opens the lock. That's it, Bruce. The arrowhead must be the key to something far bigger. Hmm, something much bigger. A canoe? Dusty, sometimes I think you've got an empty teepee. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, Venom's got to be stopped. And fast! Right. Wow! I feel just like a brave Indian warrior. You look more like a plucked turkey. Can it, T-Bob? It's the Indian boy, all right. That arrowhead will lead me to the biggest prize of all. The Star Chariot. Move in. Oh! Daniel Bow Eagle. Oh. What do they want with me? I'll get him. Whip on. Tiva, radio dad and tell him we're in trouble. Hurry! Did he get off my antenna, you silly frog? You're fouling up my signal. The emergency frequency. Huh? Big trouble. Yay! Go get him! I'm going for Scott and Ben. You're covered, Matt. We'll keep them busy. Lift up. On. Good work, Bruce. Now, watch me give Vanessa a flip-flop. Aura, on! Ooh! Oh! Oh! Yee-haw! Time to book that bronco! Backlash, on! We'll have a better chance of losing him if we split up. Tiger, get that kid. Let go of me. I don't get it. He took Scott instead of Daniel. I've got to stop Dagger. No, you don't. I'm putting Thunderhawk on autopilot. Stepping out for some fresh air. Spectrum hang glider, on. Ah, trying to sneak up on me. Too bad. Just when I was thinking of going on a little spin. Spectrum hang glider, on. Come! They're after Scott! Who is after him? Daniel, quick! I can't shake him. I'll divert their attention. I'll get the fire extinguisher. No, Daniel! Stop! Daniel! Daniel! Ah! Ah! Great stars of Texas! It's no 
use. The fire extinguisher isn't good enough. Help! Then you won't be there. We can't get through the flames. They're too high. Not for me. Daniel! <laughs> Thank you, whoever you are, for saving my son. <laughs> I I'm okay, Mom. I'm, I'm fine. Wow, those are great masks. I didn't know the fire department had that kind of stuff. They don't. We are not from the fire department. Where's your arrowhead, son? How'd you know about my arrowhead? John Slow Eagle told a friend of mine he gave it to you. I let Scott wear it. Scott? So that's why Venom went after Scott. Hey! Ribbit. Ribbit. Scott's in trouble! Ribbit. Let me go! Let me go! Shut up! At last! It's taken me ten years to find the other half of the arrowhead. According to the symbols on this ancient Indian tapestry, the emerald arrowhead will point the way to the star chariot, an alien spacecraft buried beneath the desert a thousand years ago. We've got all the vehicles we need. Maybe, but this vehicle has something you lack. Intelligence. The intelligence of a civilization millions of years beyond Earth. A ship that came from so far away must have an incredible propulsion system. I'll adapt it for an unbeatable new generation of Venom vehicles. I've located Venom. They're moving south on Highway 770, straight for the Mesa Verde National Park. Bruce, I want a chance to check out the park before they arrive. Think you can slow Venom down, then meet me there? Don't worry, Matt. A wounded rabbit makes the full fox hungry. Wounded rabbit? Rubbish. By Jove, I'm the strategic expert around here, and I say we set up an ambush. That's what Bruce just said, Alex. We should reach Mesa Verde National Park within the hour. Heads up. Looks like an accident. Well, it appears our masked friends have had a little mishap. Prepare to take on another prisoner. Now! Bush. Lift us down. Uh. Looks like we caught ma'am unaware. <laughs> Go get him, Mask. <laughs> Roll off your attack. I wouldn't want that fine young boy to get hurt. Don't worry about me. Blast them. Dusty, Gloria, pull back. The fox has eaten the rabbit. The arrow has pointing at those cave dwellings. will be able to stop me once I possess its power. Never will, Mayhem. You! Dad! 
One step closer and you'll regret it. Whip on. Ah! Uh, on! Scoff! Dad! I hate to tell you this, T-Bob, but you're not alive. Oh, uh, I forgot. We'll be crushed. Don't give up so easily, fool. Sniper, fire! Opener for Venom. Rhino's ultra bright. I can't see. Find this thing out of here. I can't see the control. The light's too intense. I can't stand it anymore. Not for long. Spectrum on. We're trapped. I'm going to personally see that you spend the rest of your life behind bars, Mayhem. Sorry, not this time. I'll be back for the Star Chariot. You can bet on it. Matt. Venom will pay for what they did to Scott. <sighs> did somebody call me? Scott, you're alive. Of course I'm alive. And did I ever have a weirdo dream? T-Bob and I were hit by this huge rolling pin. Next thing I knew, this UFO took us to an alien planet, where they fixed us up. You're kidding. Oh, I had the same dream. That's impossible. Robots don't dream. Wait a minute. You don't think... I get the funny feeling. This star chariot is more than it appears to be. Yeah. And what happens when Venom decides to come back and try for it again? I do hope that answers your question, dusty old chap. I guess we'll never know what message that ship held for our world. When the eggs are disturbed, the bird makes a new nest. Birds? Oh, where? Oh, I have enough troubles with frogs. No, t -Bob. What Bruce means is the star chariot isn't gone. It's found a safer home. Look, the arrowhead! When all of the Miles Mayhems of this world are gone, I think it may finally reveal its secrets. Hey, look at the great dog. Come on, pal. Let me pet you. Careful, Scott. You know that dog? No, but he's so friendly. You have to be careful. He could bite. Remember, you're a stranger to him, too. Uh, Alex ought to know. He owns a pet store. Thanks for the tip. I won't pet any strange dog. That's the best way to keep a dog a kid's best friend. Next, the T-Bob. 
course. A video game cartridge you have to buy separately to play on the Intellivision video game system. Why are you talking like that? They always do. Then they say your parents have to hook it up to the TV. After that, you can start to pick up gold. Trouble is, the police are coming. So you have to keep both eyes on the game. Oh, brother. Do they say that too? Funny. Intellivision Master Component from Mattel Electronics. Lock and Chase video game cartridge sold separately. Now what do I do? Okay, this is Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Video game cartridge. You have to buy it separately to play on the Intellivision video game system. Mom and Dad have to hook it up to the TV. What next? You're trying to find a crown, but it's real easy to get lost. So don't be surprised if the dragon finds you first. Holy cats, you just killed the dragon. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons video game cartridge and Intellivision Master Component from Mattel Electronics, each sold separately. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you like Mask. Mobile Armored Strike Command. Command is not this isn't not spelled with a K. But it is a mask. This parallel universe. Maybe maybe command does spell start with a K in that universe. So <laughs> alright. I'm going to do my end of the day stuff here. Because I'm gonna put two cartoons here at the end, hopefully. Um because if these pass, then we'll bring those into circulation. So, yeah. And these are both requested cartoons. So hopefully I can get these past YouTube so I can bring them to you. And, you know, remember, I'm going to be at the Jim and Dan comic book show, June 12th, located at the Wright State Student Union Center in Dayton, Ohio. Um, I'll be there 10 to 4, selling all kinds of stuff, set up as RU Game, not as Group Therapy, not as Saturday Morning Series, not as Saturday Fridays. Uh, get again, we will be June 27th at the up Miami Valley Center Mall, located in Pickle, Ohio. We're going to be doing PickleCon again. That's coming back, so you can find me there again. Uh, you can find me yet again, always, under Group Therapy TV on Facebook. You can find me under... Uh, are you game on Facebook? You can find me on Twitter and Instagram. So, uh, and, and people send me messages on Instagram. Uh, if, if I don't follow you or you don't follow me, um, I, I miss those. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll catch them like weeks late and then I feel bad. So, you know, if you're going to message me, message me through group therapy TV or message me on Twitter. And then I'm... Uh, like I said, I apologize. If I if you if it goes through Instagram, there's a good chance that I won't catch it. So I'm gonna say goodbye. I do, and all that other fun stuff. And as always, I'll leave you with this: just because you grow older doesn't mean you have to grow up. And there's always time for cartoons. Um, also, man, take care of your friends, take care of your family, take care of yourself. Uh, I love you guys are all still watching the show. I like the fact that you guys are hanging out and contacting me and talking to me and tell me what you want to see. Tell me you love the show. Tell me you hate the show. I don't, you know. The fact that you're taking time out of your life to tell me anything is is pretty cool. So, um, I'm going to say goodbye. I will see you next Saturday. I'll see you next Friday. And I'll see you next Monday. For Sci Fridays and Group Therapy TV, 
So I do, and hopefully there's two cartoons after these credits. So stay tuned. All right. We uphold the code of the West Since the comet done come down And raise no mesa from the ground We walk, walk talking right like all the great ah! We're the cowboys of Moo Mesa I'm the marshal that everyone calls Moo The name is Colorado Yeehaw! That's kid to you that's Dakota over there. Tough as all cow anywhere. Yup. On this mesa we come Somewhere, boys. It's Moo! It's Moo, Montana! Right both times. Colorado, let's teach these boys the ropes. You betcha, buddy. Come up, Dakota. Three cheers for the Marshal! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Yee-haw! Marshal Moo Montana! There ain't a better lock out this side of Curious Gorge. Well, thank you, Calf Pine. I appreciate the appreciation. But like it says in the Code of the West, if you get a big head helping people, your hat won't fit. I like that. Right, Marshal Moo. Magnificent job, Montana. It's always a pleasure to watch a true hero at work. <laughs> Marshall Moon always gets his horny toad. Well, it wasn't just me, Mayor Baloney, but all of the cowboys. 
well, we're lucky to have such a sterling example of law and order in our midst. <laughs> I, I, I had a little nest egg in that bank myself, and thanks to you, it's still safe. <laughs> well, we were just staying true to the code of the West, Mayor. That's our job. Protecting the innocent and good folk of Moo Mesa from those varmints that would perpetrate evil. Sorry, I get riled up just thinking about it. Me too. I despise a law cow who prevents me from becoming richer. Don't I know it. Why terrible, my dear Sheriff. You just gave me one glorious bovine inspiration. Come again, boss. What would you think about seeing Marshal Moo Montana blown sky high tomorrow when he picks up his trophy for Law Cow of the Year? <laughs> What's the guarantee he'll win? Has he ever lost? Hmm. Good point. In the meantime, I think the Masked Bull should pay a little visit to uh, the noon train. blows up with the slightest bump. Allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> now you two, you two get that nitro into the wagon. I got me a marshal to fry. <laughs> So that's why the noon train's late. It's stranded. Well, we've got us a problem here. The 145's on time. For once. The 145 will never see the noon train in time to stop. Yep. Hey! Hey! I can see our house from here, guys! Uh, guys? Hey, guys, wait for me! We've got a train to save.
What's going on? Looks like you're going to be early. Good work, Dakota. Lives have been saved and schedules have been kept. But uh, where's Colorado? <laughs> <laughs> well, if that don't beat all. Yep. Dakota, you and Colorado follow the wagon tracks. I'll head into town and see what our share of terrible is up to. Somehow he always knows more about the mass bull than anybody else. said your horse had better manners than you. Doesn't mean he can sit here neither. Well, 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 look who's here. Well, how to move? Looks like you could use yourself a sarsaparilla. Much obliged, Miss Lily. Well, come on in and wet your whistle. Your days are numbered, Marshal. Who oh, you got the drop on me, calf pie? Can I help you catch bad guys now, Marshal Moo? I'm getting pretty fast. You sure are, Cody. How about you start by wearing this? Golly, a real deputy star. Now say there, Cody, how's that long cow of the year float a coming along? It's gonna be the most rodeo and float in the parade. You're gonna look good riding on it too, Marshal Moo. Now how about we let the good folks of Moo Mesa decide who rides the law cow float when they vote, okay? Yeah, but you win every year. Cody, now there's more streamers and balloons in the stable. So why don't you go out and get them and, well, you could use all you want. Yeah, because I'm going to need all of them. Say there, you going to pick up your award this year, Marshal, or just going to avoid the whole matter like you usually do? Well, Lily, like it says in the Code of the West, trophies may look good on the shelf, but they sure make your eyes look pretty. Uh, but they don't make the sagebrush grow. Read them and wait, boys! Come to pop of my little chipsters. I trust that little train matter's been taken care of, Sheriff. All taken care of, Mayor. <laughs> and soon I'll be able to say the same about Marshal Moo Montana. I wouldn't play those five aces, Mayor. What? Well, how, how did they get in there? <laughs> Naughty things. Gentlemen, if you'll excuse me, I have some laws uh, to write. Yeah, yes. Mind if I sit in? Just thought you'd like to know, uh, we found the stolen nitro, Sheriff. Nitro? <laughs> I don't know nothing about any nitro. Really? I thought since you and the masked bull were so close, you might have heard something about it. You saying I'm in cahoots with the masked bull? In three words, yes. And one day I'm gonna prove it. Hey! Looky! Looky there, hey, just like I told you. The wagon tracks lead right into Cowtown. Well, I'm gonna hog tie the mass bulls hide faster than you can say code of the west. Dakota? Get your flea bitten carcasses up! What? I told you to watch the nitro, not the back side of your eyelids. <laughs> Don't worry, we're guarding that nitro up something fierce, boss. I'll, I'll take care of the whole thing, you were like. Oh. Rat. Whoops. Wrong barn. <laughs> When those do-gooders leave, get the nitro out of there. But in the meantime, get me that kid, Cody. Sure, we don't even need the reason. Oh, what he said. Hey, open up! Let me in, come on, let me in, open up! <gasps> Hello? Who's there? Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> so we took all hold the nitro, boss. Yeah, we rigged it underneath the law, Cal. The air float. We sure did. So now, when the float hits the slightest bump... Kaboom! <laughs> Moo burgers all around. <laughs> hmm, I like it. In the meantime, what do we get to do with the kid? Well, since you two brilliant fellows were smart enough to spill your plans in front of the brat, I guess you'll have to dispose of him quietly. We're fixing to dispose of you. Hardly. I got it. No, that's that's my hand. What are you doing? Stop it, man! Take him. Grind him up real good. <laughs> yeah, real good. Hey, y'all. We haven't seen calf pun since yesterday. Say, any of you fellas seen Cody? We'll find the little fella, Miss Lily. Right, Dakota? Yeah. Marshal! Marshal Montana, where are you going, boy? Come on, we've got a Law Cow of the Year award to give out. <laughs> ladies and barmen, uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> uh, welcome to Cowtown and the annual Mesa Day Parade. <laughs> Miss Lily. Now this award goes to the varmint, a critter, a person, a person, uh, who did the most to keep the law in order on Moo Mesa. It is with great pleasure that I announce this year's winner, the Law Cow of the Year, our very own Marshal Moo Montana. Congratulations, Montana. Oh, thank you kindly, Mayor. I have a feeling <laughs> this might very well be your most explosive Mesa Day ever. <laughs> <laughs> You a sight for sore eyes. Hurry! The last bull's gonna blow up Marshal Moo! We gotta save him. <laughs> Has it happened, giant balls? No! Calf pint. Me and Dakota gotta save Moo. I thought you sorry sacks of fleas took care of that calf. What? Out of my way! I do everything myself around here for crying out loud.
The Nitro. Much for your plan. <laughs> plan? What plan? What? Was there a plan? <laughs> Marshall, I, I think the kind of people of Moo Mesa would like to hear a few words from their favorite law cow. Oh, come on, Moo. Tell them how you feel. Well, I told you, I told you not to take the horses down there. But no! No, it's okay, says you. Water's not deep, says you. So what happens? We wind up up to our black masks in a raging deluge fighting for our lives. I think we should make sure these boys get escorted back to jail. What do you think, Dakota? <laughs> well... Motorcycle mama jamma in the universe. Modest, too. Ah, this is living. Nothing to do but rocking and rolling and racing through the cosmos. We got absolutely no problem. Sir, target identified as a cyclodrome thunderpipe, used only by the cave mouse population from the planet Mars. Impossible. Weren't all Martian mice destroyed during the Protarchian occupation of Mars? I wonder. Gonna blow that ship to the seven scattered galaxies. Now! Somebody out there doesn't like us. Yeah, those somebodies look a lot like Plutarchians. I can almost smell them from here. Looks like we've crossed with one of their destroyers. Vape them. What do you say we fry the fins off those stink faces? Do it. One fish face barbecue coming up! Oh, man! Vincent, it works better if you shoot before the weapon flies out the door. Yeah, well, um, timing's everything. So what are we gonna do? Well, that's easy. <laughs> We're going down! to eject. Guys, let me tell you something. In this wild and woolly universe of ours, there's only three things you can count on. Your brains, your bros, 
and your bike. Helmets on! It's time to rock and ride! And as Chicago takes the field... Holy Toledo! What place is that? Nice reception. Who told him we were coming? Rope it in, Vinny. We didn't mean to cause any trouble, citizens. <laughs> okay, boys, kick it. Give me your money, Jack. Now. <gasps> hey, sweetheart. You didn't really plan on hurting anyone with this thing, did you? No, sir. Good. Then if you don't mind. Bingo! Uh, I gotta go now. I think I hear my mom calling me. Nice trick, eh, citizen? Thanks, mister. Here, have a dog. Dog, eh? I've heard of these. I'll check it out. Ride free, citizen! <gasps> Pardon me. Have you any gray bouban? You see any way off of here? The usual. Let's roll! Hold him up. Hey, listen to this. Busted gyro. No sweat, sweetheart. We find us a cycle parts shop and I'll have it fixed pronto. I don't know. We've been on these streets for miles and I haven't seen a repair pit yet. Keep looking, Moto. You know, there's something strangely familiar about this place. And it's not exactly a happy memory. I mean, check it out. Nothing but miles of deep craters and crumbling buildings. Yeah, but look at the bright side. What bright side? That bright side. I'll scope it out. Tell your slimy boss that I don't care how much money he has. The Last Chance Garage is mine, and it's not for sale. You is not being wise, lady. Mr. Limburger wants this land. And what Lawrence Limburger wants, Lawrence Limburger gets! Listen, you overgrown grease monkey. You got ten seconds to vacate this place. I'm gonna vacate your face! <laughs> Oh, I'm shaking, lady. You see me shaking? <laughs> Ugh. Why don't you just ooze off and tell your slimy boss he can just shove it? <laughs> what the heck? My lift needed a grease job anyway. Yous are starting to annoy me big time. <laughs> 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 Maybe now you'll see Mr. Limburger's generous offer in a new light. Say there, citizen. Why don't you leave the lady alone? Huh? And who's gonna make me, wrench face? Who's gonna make me? Hey, <laughs> who's gonna make me is my middle name. I'm gonna make you. Uh -huh. What's the matter? The little bitty baby biker hurt himself? <laughs> Get up and fight, you loser. What are you, a man or a mouse? Yo, mouse. You got a problem with that? This is one crummy place you got here. It's crawling with rats. Rat! My mama didn't raise no stinking rat. Understand? It's tail whipping time. Let's take this wrench hand down! Time to roll, sweetheart! Mr. Limburger ain't gonna like 
Talk about your slippery customers. <laughs> yeah, they could call him the Duke of Oil. <laughs> Duke, 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 Duke of oil, 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 Guys, Duke guys, guys, oil. guys, 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 you're off key. <laughs> what, <laughs> what would you do if we sang a bad tune? <laughs> <laughs> I give up. You okay, ma'am? Don't you come any closer, you, you! Whoa, whoa, hey, 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 don't break a nail. We just came in to get my bike fixed. Yeah, we're the good guys. Talk about no appreciation. I don't believe this. I've just been saved by a bunch of giant... Gerbils? Mice, ma'am. We're mice. Mice? You were expecting turtles, maybe? Mice. With antennas. And biker clothes. And motorcycles. Don't and... forget your basic studly bots. I've seen better. Maybe. But not with this much charm. Where on earth did you guys come from? Mars. 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 Mars? Is there an echo in here? I don't think she likes our answers. Mars. Right. I don't believe this. I think you guys better explain yourselves. Okay, look, it's a long story. You see, our planet was invaded by a race of smelly stink faces called Plutarchians. Here, I'll show you. Now, the Plutarchians wanted our land, right? It seems they wasted all their own natural resources, so they go around strip mining the cosmos. So they blew up your planet? Nah, they bought up our planet, tore the place apart, and dug up the land to ship back to Plutarch. The mice population fought back, but most of us were wiped out. Moto here gave his arm to the cause. Vinny got half his face taken off. That's why he wears the mask. Yeah, but that's okay, because what's left is definitely grade A mouse material. In your dreams, pal. You know, the way you guys describe what these, uh, Plutarchians did to your planet, I think you ought to check something out. From the looks of things, I'd say they're here. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah, Chicago. Soon all of your precious soil will be mine. The New York, Paris, Hamburg, Detroit. Well, maybe not Detroit. Those Motor City maniacs are a little too crazy for me. But one day... Uh, sorry, boss. Grease pit. Dear boy. Yes, boss? You're dripping on my carpet! Uh, sorry, boss. Just try and get good help. The best nutrients for their best life. Science did that. These days. Now, as I recall, I sent you to purchase the last chance garage. Is this correct? Uh, yes, boss. And I believe you were then to demolish it? That's right, boss. Then why is it still there? It wasn't my fault, boss. Honest. You see, there were these big mice. Mice? On a motorcycle? Yeah. Not again. I had a belly full of those revolting rodents on Mars. Carbuncle. Yes, your big cheese in do you recall those mice who escaped your laboratory on Mars? The three leaders of that pathetic rebellion. Yes, most frustrating. I had barely started experimenting on them when they got away. Hey, Doc, how about forearms? Then I could clap in stereo. Oh, shut up. Carbuncle, pay attention. Those biker rebels have now come to Earth, and I want to know what you are going to do about it. Well, your cheddar cheeviness. If you wish to catch a mouse, you must build a better mouse trap. Excellent. Now all we need is the bait. <laughs> <laughs> there! That 
That ought to do it. Huh, not bad. You're a pretty good bike jockey. Best in Shy Town. By the way, your weapons look like they could use a little improvement, so I put in a few extras. Extras? Like what? Like that. Ooh, I like it, sweetheart. I like it. Thanks. I live for your approval. I better go out and get those back before they fall into the wrong hands. Hey, buddies, we're honing some chrome and rattling the roadways on WBKR. Sweet Georgie Brown banging heads with metal rock and roll from Guns and Noses. Ah, what'd I tell you guys? Is this guy, Sweet Georgie Brown, the baddest DJ in the universe or what? Sweet. Hey, what's taking Charlie Girl so long? Yo, biker bunnies. All those gopher teeth of yours out here. I got some bits for you. Oh, no, no, it's a trap! <laughs> Shut up, you. Come on, what's the matter? Cat got your tails? <laughs> Jeez, don't these guys ever use doors? Let her go, oil breath. You touch me, and I pull this string. And your friend, she goes. Snap. All right, bros. Left flank roll. No, guys. Number three. Maybe we should think it over before you... Hit it! Oh, jeez! Gotcha, sweetheart. Have I got style or what? What you got is bad breath. You been eating onions again, huh? The story of my life. No appreciation. Hey! Three against one ain't fair. Are you missing up, oil breath? You just take a message back to your boss for us. What message? You tell him the biker mice from Mars are in town and the party's over. You got that? Uh, yeah, I think so. Good. Now it's time to go. Oh no, not again. Hey, like they say back at Quigley Field, batter up! Here's the wind-up. And the pitch! Mr. Limburger isn't gonna like this! Yes! Doodles. Can't anyone do anything around here? Must I have to do everything myself? Yes, your supreme cheesiness. Your mousetrap was less than a success. If you can't take care of those repulsive rodents, we're through on this planet. Well, if one has rats in the attic, there's but one thing to do. Exterminate them. Charlie says this is where we'll find that Lawrence Limburger clown. No time to pop in for a little visit. Battle mode, bros. We're gonna rock the walls off this joint. Yo, party time! Hey, I want one of those. Mm -hmm. uh. What's that? It's an attack! Activate defenses! You know, man, I don't think Limburger's exactly happy to see us. Uh-oh. Company. Spread. Rip me of these bothersome vermin! <gasps> it's just so hard to find good help these days. I know, I know. <laughs> hey, I smell blue tarky. Oh, uh, you could tell. I must have the air conditioning repaired at once. Huh? 
Carbuncle. Yes, my boy. <laughs> How very nice of you to remember. Oh, I remember all right. I remember how you took my arm, but I got me another one. Very interesting invention. And speaking of inventions... I have one you might like to meet. Exterminator. Hasta la vista, rodents. Well, well. It seems that it's time to say goodbye to our guests. I gotta tell you, it's been a treat, fellas, but it's time for us to rock and roll! Exterminate them! Kick it, bros! Take Limburger's goon squad. I'll handle the big fella. Oh. What a flathead. The key to a perfect cookout? Free Kroger pickup. Start your cart today. Looks like I cornered me a big fat rat. Rats to you, pal. It's been real, sweethearts, but now it's time for Lights Out. Yes! Double play! Come and get me, Tin Man. End of the road, Rodent. I'll be back. Yeah, well, don't forget to write. <clears throat> it's gonna take a long time to mend that mangled mess of metal. <sighs> Typical. Just great. Well, if you're stuck here on Earth, this place will make as good a hideout as any. What, here? In the scoreboard? Why not? Limburger and his grease goons would never think to look for you here. She's got a mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Well, now that we got the bachelor pad thing together, what do you say we grab a little chow? I know a great cheese shop downtown. Oh, get uh, it cool, hey, Come on. What do you think we are, anyway? Huh? Mice. I was thinking maybe a few root beers. A couple of dogs. Okay, group. Then let's... I got this one, sweetheart. Okay, you mamajamas. Let's rock and ride! 